Right guys, Monday night's dinner and am I excited? I've been at work all day craving this to get home. Come and check out what dinner I've got to kick the week off. So I've got some onion rings, Albert Bartlett chips, tin of peas, mushrooms, a Mediterranean salad and a nice bit of sirloin steak. I'm just about to go and season and everything before I cook it. So I'm gonna have a nice steak dinner tonight. First day back at work and you've got to have a good dinner. And of course, you have to get tomato sauce. Can you imagine chips without tomato sauce? Seriously. And I've got a beer to go with it. Happy days, let's get cooking. All right guys, so I'm just cooking off the steak now. Um, I've seasoned it, left it for about 20 minutes. Sea salt, um, ground black pepper, and some crushed chilies on there. That should be a yummy nice bit of fresh steak. I've got my steak now, medium to rare. I'm just gonna cook my mushrooms up, probably in a little bit of garlic, fresh garlic and garlic butter. All right, so in the steak juice that was left, I've added some butter, some fresh garlics, and we're gonna chuck the mushrooms in there as well. Guys, oh God, you can smell the garlic on these mushrooms. Look at that. That is gonna be well nice for my steak. Check out Monday night's dinner. Oh ho ho. So we've got a Mediterranean salad with a vinaigrette. I've just put on it, a nice bit of vinaigrette. We've got garlic buttered mushrooms with fresh garlic, chips, garden peas, the sirloin steak fresh from the butchers and onion rings. Check that out, look at that. I've been looking forward to this all day long. Let's have a look at the steak. Oh, yes. Mmm. That is absolutely mm, mouth-watering gorgeous. It's lovely. These mushrooms done in the butter and garlic in the steak juices. Oh my God, they are to die for. Mmm. This is so nice. Anyway, I'm gonna carry on eating this. Right, guys. Oh God, Charlie in that ball, honestly. Or is it a tomato or something? What is it, Charlie? Let's have a look. What have you got? What is it? Oh well, it won't show me. Guys, tonight's dinner is something I've never tried. It's this new hungry elephant that's appearing in all the stores at the moment, in Tesco's, Asda, Morrison's. And this one is, check it out. It is gunpowder chili garlic. Look at that, rated four chilies hot. So I'm gonna try that tonight. In there, you get a couple of packets. I think one for cooking the chicken in, one for the actual sauce. I've got a couple of chicken breasts, bit of pepper, garlic, onion, salt, pepper, and my rice. Right, let's get cracking with it. So I've chopped the chicken breast up. The first packet is a marinade packet, which you've got to leave the chicken in the sauce for the next 20 minutes. So we'll leave it for 20 minutes, sort the onion and garlic out, then come back to it. Right guys, so while the chicken's marinating, I'm just sweating off um, some onions, three cloves of garlic, bit of red pepper. Um, I've added a few chili seeds to it and a bit of coriander. So let's cook that off and then about another 10 minutes then we'll pull the chicken in there so i put the marinated chicken in with the onions and everything else uh, i fried it off added some tomatoes some fresh tomatoes that i needed to get rid of so i thought throw them in there and i'm going to add the sauce now charlie does that smell good yeah charlie can smell it right there you go guys i'm going to let that simmer now for the next 10 or 15 minutes and then we'll try what it's like here you go there is my gunpowder chili garlic with basmati rice and some garlic and coriander naan bread look at that so that's the box that's how it comes when you get from the supermarket and that's how it ends up on your plate let's try it and see how good it is it certainly smells good i was reading on uh, the back of the box if you want it to be a really hot hot curry Stick a load of fresh chilies in it. I mean, I put chilli seeds in, but it smelt strong to start with. Let's have a go of it. That is lovely. 
that, oh, I can tell the coriander I put in. Oh dear, I can really taste that. Guys, this is absolutely lovely. And it is another quick one. The only thing you've got to wait for is the marinade. What I should have done is cut the chicken breast up this morning before I went to work and left it in the fridge to marinate, but hey ho. But this is really good. Right, I'm gonna eat this now and I'll catch you for my next meal. Wednesday night's dinner. We're halfway through the week. So tonight I'm having gammon steaks, what I got from the butchers, which is like, I'm trying to describe it in America. It's, um, it's like a boiled ham, I suppose, something like that with peas, chips, corn on the cob. I was gonna go on the way back home from work and get myself some eggs and some pineapple. But I feel really rough tonight. I think I've got a bit of flu, so I just couldn't be bothered to go to the shop. So here's what the dinner's looking like. So there's me fresh gammon steaks from the butchers, to the garden peas, some chips, and a corn on the cob. To be honest, I don't even feel that hungry at the moment, but let's cook it up and we'll see. Tonight's dinner, so I've got a corn on the cob with a bit of butter on it, garden peas, chips, bit of English mustard there, to have with my gammon. There's no way I can eat gammon without a nice bit of English mustard. Charlie's got the okay on that as well. Yep, I know Charlie, you can't eat it without mustard, can you? So annoyed guys, I didn't stop off, but I just don't feel that good. I'm like aching, a bit like a bit of, but like, uh, I'm aching, it's like a bit of flu, um, but I always, with my gammon, have a ring, a couple of rings of pineapple and an egg on top. But I just didn't, I just didn't feel like stopping at the shop tonight. It was gone six o'clock and I thought, I just need to go home, have my dinner, have a bath and relax. And I've only used one of the gammon steaks. Normally I'd cook two up, but I just feel, I'm just gonna have the one tonight. I froze the other one, so that'll do for another dinner sometime. Anyway guys, I'm going to eat this now and I'll catch you for tomorrow night's dinner. Tonight's dinner is an emergency one. So I've rushed back home, get my dinner organised. This is what I bought. So we've got carrots, broccoli, cauliflower. i got those potatoes for the roast potatoes. Some nice fresh asparagus. Some garden peas. Going to have that with my chicken parcel that I got from the butchers at the weekend. And guess what? I forgot to take it out of the freezer this morning. So I've had to run over to Iceland quickly. That's why I've still got my coat and hat on and everything. And I've had to get a substitute very quickly. Just paid five pound for this. Two jumbo battered Atlantic haddock fillets. They're Harry Ramsden's. So it's worth the price. If it tastes good, it's worth the price. I got that for a fiver. And I bought two lots of mushy peas for a pound. Harry Ramsden one. So I thought, do you know what? Let's give Harry Ramsden's fish and chips a go. I've got chips in the freezer, so let's get it on. I'll tell you what guys, it might be a fiver for two bits of fish, but look at that, that is a decent size. I'm dying to try this. There's my Harry Ramsden's fish. There's me chips and me Harry Ramsden mushy peas. Let's give it a go. Right, let's try this Harry Ramsden's fish. Let's see how good it is. Actually, don't look too bad. Tell you what guys, it don't look too bad at all for frozen fish. In fact, let me show you. Look at that, for fr frozen fish, that is half decent. Mmm. What's the mushy peas like though? They look a bit dodgy to me. It's the first time I've ever eaten mu frozen mushy peas. Not bad at all, I'll tell you what. Might be a little bit on the expensive side, this Harry Ramsden's, but i will definitely recommend it. Actually for six quid, it's not actually too bad. So I've got two dinners when you think about it. I froze the other bit of fish, the other mushy peas. So yeah, I'm impressed. I'm gonna finish this off and I'll catch you for tomorrow's dinner. It's the best night ever. It's Friday night and if this is my last, I don't know about quick dinner of the week. I've got the chicken parcel. Finally remember to take it out of the freezer. So this is my yummy dinner tonight. I've got a chicken parcel, 1.99 in Rooks. Broccoli, carrots, got to do roast potatoes, some sweet corn, little mini sweet corn cobs and peas. Let's get it on.
Right guys, the carrots are in, broccoli, sweet corn, and the chicken and roast potatoes in the oven. To put the gravy, look at that. So we got little mini corn on the cobs, peas, roast potatoes, broccoli, carrots, and the chicken parcel I got from Rooks. That's, oh yeah. Lucy will eat this sort of dinner without any gravy. I just don't know how she can do it. Let's have a look at that chicken parcel. Yummy, look at that. That's all stuffed inside with, I'd say, a stuffing as well with bacon wrapped round it. I tell you what, that's not bad for £1.99. Let's see what it tastes like. It smells so good. I've got to try this chicken. Oh, look at that. That is, look at that. Nicely stuffed with a bit of stuffing. Mmm. That is so good. I am getting some more of these and I'm going to stick them in the freezer. That is so nice. Oh, that is gorgeous. That is the, my meals of the week for when I finish work. Roll on tomorrow, Saturday, and uh, no doubt I'll be doing a vlog and catch you then. Catch you later. Bye.